Hello and welcomes back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Visor, my bounty hunter here on the world of Corellia. And the time has come to liberate Corellia from, well, the Corellians. Liberated from the Republic. Ah, we need to go into the Republic Foundation Museum and get an access card by one of the Green Jedi Masters. So, it's a bit of a scenic route, bear with me. Let's make sure I've unmuted myself <laughs> after the slight uh, few minutes of uh, dealing with the prison complex in the last part. Corner Darth Decimus, the one of the final major obstacles in the Empire's path to claiming total victory is the Green Jedi and their fortress enclave. Thankfully, we have a man on the inside. He was providing us with intelligence and giving us a way to gain access. Visible droid. Okay, in we go. So we were also asked to deal with any of the Republic artifacts. Anything to further break their spirit. We don't have a bonus here, apart from obviously deal with the artifacts. Jedi Masters down in the vault. We heard. We need to lower security first.
shouldn't have turned your back on me, go. Here's the security console. Access to the vaults, perfect. I think a guy wearing such heavy armor wouldn't be so stealthy, but we manage. This day would come. The Empire's always looking for a new conquest. And here you are, a hired gun sent to tear down our legacy. Corellia revolutionized the shipbuilding industry, pioneered hyperspace travel, founded the Republic. You will not ruin everything we've built. Commanding the Empire the keys to the planet. What happens to Corellia is their business, not yours. You've made a career from bowing to the Empire, but we won't do the same. Protect the relics, men. Rid Corelli of this scum's presence. Yeah, about the relics, you're a bit late if that's the case. Not just a pretty sidekick, Buster. <laughs> So you may go even you're killing Jedi now, and effectively as well. Get ourselves back over to the command center. We now have what we need to enter the Green Jedi Enclave. Doc's dead. I have his access code. The Green Jedi will soon join their precious artifacts in ruin. Well done. This is it. The final battle for Corellia. What's our status, General? Imperial forces are converging on Capitol Square. Then we attack. You've proven your worth in battle. Now lead our army against the Jedi Enclave. Your troops better follow my lead. Our forces respect and fear you. They'll follow you against the Jedi's leader. Master Arfan Ramos, commander of the Green Jedi. The rebels call him Corellia's savior. He hides within a shell of Vertio, but there's anger within him. We sent extermination squads after Master Ramos. He killed them all, then retreated to his enclave. Now he's single-handedly keeping the rebellion alive. Easy jobs bore me. Respect Master Ramus. Provoke his fury and you'll break him. But first the Enclave. Darben Sul will help you breach the Council Chambers. Now go. Today we decide Corella's future. Indeed we do. The battle's begun. 
Lead them to victory. Okay, back towards the green Jedi compound. This is a bad time. We'll talk when it's safer. Remember I have my bloody tranquilizer ability. I'm gonna be putting um, strong opponents to sleep. It's straight on into the next district. Straight ahead into the Enclave itself. So while we're running here, what is so special about the Green Jedi? Hmm, where is their... I thought we had picked up their codex entry. Hmm. Perhaps not. Oh, I'm blind, which is also very possible. Finger be under the organizations. Hmm. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Stupid. When we were doing the side missions yesterday, we saw the law object. We didn't interact with it interact with it. We were too busy. Dealing with the self troopers, that's right. Here we are. Yeah, so, Corellia's sworn protectors they comprise of an elite and a reclusive group with only loose ties to the main Jedi Order. 
They place their allegiance to Corellia above the Republic, refusing to be drawn away from their home world. The Jedi Council considers the group unreliable and potentially suspect. Expecting you. Welcome to our enclave. Finally, I meet the Empire's infamous bounty hunter. Disgusting. The Green Jedi only want Corellia's freedom. Tell Darth Decimus the rebellion can't be killed. Then leave this planet forever. You're a terrible host, Master Ramos. I just want to chat with your council. You murdered Master Vedak and stormed our enclave. How foolish do you think I am? Master Ramos? There is no emotion. There is peace. Stop your Jedi nonsense, Ramos. General Hesker, how good of the Emperor to loosen your leash. To arms, Jedi. Preserve the Republic. Protect Corellia. <laughs> Pleasure, join, pleasure for you to join us, General Hesker. You actually involved yourself in the fight, unlike most Imperial soldiers who always turn up late. Impressive display, Hunter. We could learn a thing or two from your tactics. I'm here on strict orders. We're to secure the courtyards and guard your rear. Good to know the Imperial Guard's watching my back. Wish we could see you further. Give Master Ramos my regards. Back to it, men. Leave no Jedi alive. Well, they seem eager. Onwards to the council chambers. Well, we'll leave the Imperials to mob up behind us. make it. You should have seen Master Ramos after you stomped his ambush. His face went bright red and then he smashed the comm station. I've inspired my share of frustrations, especially in my enemies. Now Master Ramos knows who he's dealing with, and he's not taking any chances. He's got a small army of green Jedi waiting for you on the other side of that door. I could stir up a distraction. I'd blow my cover, but I'll do it if you really want me to. Your safety isn't my concern. Open this door and get those Jedi out of here. Always glad to stick my neck out for the Empire. First, I'll use our codes to unlock the gate. Then... Hmm. This button looks important. That'll send those Jedi running. Just get here quickly. Master Ramos won't be happy with me. The fact that you've actually, uh... Willingly now put your neck out. Oh. Oh, wow. Um. Shows a bit more sincerity towards his allegiances. Master Ramos, the Council's concerned. All due respect, Counselor, but now is not the time. Ah, come in. I'd introduce you around, but I think we're past small talk. Besides, you already know Darbin Saul. That's right. And you Green Jedi never saw it coming. Enough. The citizens of Corellia will decide your fate. Now we must defend our council. 
My blaster, your lightsaber, now. Your green Jedi pals can help if you need them. This is Suicide Ramos. He's the galaxy's top hunter. I've seen him disintegrate entire platoons just to kill his target. Enough of your tricks, Counselor. Be quiet. And see how weak your friend really is. They're all yours. Ramos. Both playing dirty. You're strong, but not strong enough. Treachery won't save you. There is no death, only the Force. Ooh, was he tapping into the dark side there? Something escaped from him as he died. Hmm. And Darwin Sewell proved himself again. Risking his life by throwing a thermal grenade between the counselors. That'll teach you to arrest a Corellian counselor. Who's the idiot now, Master Ramos? It's done, Darth Decimus. The Green Jedi Council's finished. Excellent. Without that Jedi, the Rebellion will crumble. Nothing will stop this miserable planet from joining the Empire. And we have you to thank. We just have to settle up and we're done. I agree, but not here. Your payment requires a personal touch. Don't forget me, Darth Decimus. I played a big role. Big enough for Corellia's new Prime Minister. That was our agreement, wasn't it? I can see it now. Corellia rebuilding under the glorious leadership of Darbin Sull. But freedom allows rebellion. And we've had enough of that. Perhaps we erase Corellia's would-be leader and rule with an iron fist. Chain Corellia too tight, and you risk more violence. But show them trust, put Darwin in charge, and they'll peacefully bow to the Empire. Exactly. I'll show them the Empire's looking out for our best interests. That's enough, Prime Minister Sal. Save your enthusiasm for the official ceremony. This is a historic day, and it must be properly commemorated. Report to me at once, so the Empire can give you the recognition you deserve. I so very closely shot him in the back there. But he did help us. Not once, but twice. I mean, he did screw us over in... while dealing with the unkillable Jedi, but... I suppose that warrants some consideration. Oh, bloody hell. Expect you to just be waiting there for me. People of Corellia, citizens of the Empire, today marks a new beginning. The Green Jedi have repented. The battle for Corellia is over. 
our champion stands before us, fresh from battle. He deserves our deepest respect. No existing award fits your triumph, so I bestow you, for the first time in galactic history, our newest and highest honor, the Medal of Imperial Glory. I just want a whole planet for you. Show me your complete admiration. I'm afraid we're all out of medals. There is another hero in this story. Corellia's most esteemed counselor. For fighting to broker peace, I officially name Darben Sul Prime Minister of Corellia. He will oversee this planet's future with minimal Imperial oversight. I thank you, people of Corellia, for your support. And the Empire for this chance to serve. But my greatest thanks go to you for ending the rebellion and restoring freedom to Corellia. Liberating Corellia wasn't charity. I expect payment in full. Our people know the value of your heroics. We'll soon repay you tenfold. Come, Councilman, show your gratitude. Bow to Corellia's new savior. Councilor Jolta, take a knee. I... Don't answer to Imperial puppets. He can't say that to me. Kill him! Do your job, Hunter. But know this. Corellians never give in. I don't care about your politics. Someone needs to shut you up. If anyone else agrees with a counselor, speak up. Thank you, Hunter. I believe your point's taken. Counselor Jolter isn't alone. Corellia still crawls with the confused, the angry, the violent. Let us clear up their misunderstanding. As Prime Minister of Corellia, it is my pleasure to declare Corellia an official member of the Empire. <laughs> Perhaps you'll share a few words to mark this historic occasion. Something to inspire the galaxy. Let's just get on with it. Couldn't I say something? Uh, I prepared a speech. Save it for your memoirs, Prime Minister. It's time to close these ceremonies. Corellia has finally claimed its rightful place with the Empire. The rest of the galaxy will follow. Nothing will stop us from winning this war. Long live the Empire! Long live the conqueror of Corellia! This is not a stage crowd, not at all. Ah, Corellia's Conqueror. It's a rather shiny title I could wear. Okay. Corellia is mostly pacified. We now just need a republic to agree that that is so. And there are still those, no doubt, that wish to air. Uh, Decimus wants an update. The legislature is kind of air. Uh, disagree with our methods and our announcement there. So with our efforts with Darth Decimus coming to an end, let us go see Darth Tormund at last with our final claim this uh, Commissioner Carter. But I still think we're lugging around, actually. Indeed. It's probably why Corsair attacked us so fiercely in the prison complex. They saw uh, we had their police commissioner in tow.
prepare the commissioner for the surrender. My lord. Your success is noted. So's your gratitude. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Watch these rebels sign our enemy's death warrant. Just call me when you've got something. Do not stray far. Darth Tormund desires your presence immediately. This way, please. Oh, we missed a little cinematic there. Tell you what, I'll escape out. Just because there is a little cinematic if you stick around. Which is part of the reason why I also didn't shoot Darwin's soul. <laughs> So, I was in the mood to take in a show. The Empire is interested in mutual cooperation and prosperity, not stomping out our democracy. The people will thank you for coming to this peaceful resolution. They're the ones who really suffer from all this political feuding. <laughs> Supreme Chancellor Janaris, I implore you, ratify this treaty. Show the galaxy that the Republic still believes in freedom of choice. Did you enjoy my first public address? You're cut out for politics, Darwin. <laughs> Diplomatic of you. I'll take it as a compliment. Your performance will be judged by its results. Ah, yes. You won't be disappointed. Now, we wait. I'm still waiting for you to stab me in the back. Darth Tormund desires your presence immediately. This way, please. The large Republic fleet has entered the system. It includes the founder, Supreme Chancellor Janaris's personal flagship. These reinforcements are attempting to consolidate at the Green Gardens. You know who leads them. Seros has been spotted. He is a conspicuous leader. June Seros seeks to urge Coronet City's Green Jedi out of their enclave and press the attack. When their forces are amassed, the Republic will attempt one last offensive. You have until then to reap your vengeance. I work at my own pace. If Seros leads his attack, he will die. I will not surrender ground for your vendetta. Attacking June Seros within his headquarters is the only way to be sure crucial data is in his possession. Dispose of Seros, quietly. No one must know of his demise. Bring his effects to me. Oh, that's right, because he's the advisor of the Supreme Chancellor. <clears throat> his effects may contain access to the Supreme Chancellor if no one knows he's deceased. Otherwise, they will change his access codes. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't put that together immediately. So we're heading back over. 
located at Green Gardens, near the Jedi Enclave. to where we need to go. So to bypass the Republic troops and the Green Jedi once again are the remnants of such anyway. Oh, have a couple of uh, champion Jedi here. We have Jackus Reddick and Redis Corum guarding a security chest. And these are the forces June Ceres is hoping to rally against us. Intruder. Go. Do your part to liberate Corellia. This is a private matter. I didn't say your friends could leave the party. You know what's required of you. Go. As you wish. May the Force be with you. You're persistent. Stubborn. I suppose that's why you excel at what you do, but the price is high. How much does pride cost you? Is it worth it? What I do is who I am. What you do is ruin lives for profit. Nothing I did altered that truth. You chose to murder Kelly and Jaro, just like you chose to kill everyone sent to bring you to justice. You could have surrendered at any time. You chose to become a murderer and terrorist. I only turned all that senseless destruction toward a righteous purpose. I'll have to correct that. No. Your rampage ends here. It's time to answer for your crimes. You read my mind. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. That didn't work out. You're gonna get it now. Why are we trying to heal him? God, stop it. Thank you. Heal myself. That's what I was meant to do. I'm not that generous. Unless I want to heal him just to kill him again. Which has possibilities. Hmm. Yes. Why don't we keep healing him, actually? <laughs> I won't be the one after all. Now whose pride's getting them into trouble? Savor your vengeance. It's a small victory. You've denied me nothing here. In failure, I've undone all your accomplishments. In death, I return to the Force. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Your life's only the first thing I'm gonna take from you. See, my next stop is the Supreme Chancellor. The Sith want his head. And you just delivered it right to me. You. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. It's over. Thanks for playing. No. <laughs> Appropriate. Ooh, we have a data pad of particular interest. Hopefully this data pad has the access codes to get on board the founder. Oh! These are the Jedi who were fighting, well, who were with Master Saros. I'm not scared of you.
Pathetic. I did not see Saros. You were successful? Take a look for yourself. Only Jedi would call something this fragile Battlemaster. Battlemaster some sort of special honor? Before our return, June Saros taught all Jedi the art of conflict. His death is a crippling blow to the Jedi Order. And without June Seros at his side, the Supreme Chancellor is exposed. Victory is close. Don't leave me hanging. It's encoded with June Seros's bioscan. Once the encryption is broken, we will know this data's true value. You know more than you're letting on. June Seros came here aboard the Founder. He was privy to its security protocols, landing codes, even the Supreme Chancellor's itinerary. My subordinates will transmit the relevant data to your vessel when it's prepared. Until then, do as you wish. Okay. The time yet Corelli has come to a close. We'll get ourselves back on board the Mantis. I don't think there's going to be much between us and the Supreme Chancellor. I think we'll just continue. We'll wrap this up quite nicely with a bow. Do you require anything, Master? A hot meal, perhaps? Conversation? A foot massage? Just say the word. Hmm. Another take on the Mandalorian helmet, just with a little bit of a uh, decoration. Might make use of that, actually. The Jedi are broken. The Republic forces are in disarray. Now is the time to strike. You will depart Corellia. Make for the Founder, the Supreme Chancellor's flagship, immediately. The Founder's landing codes will give the Republic fleet little reason to fire upon you. Were the landing codes the only thing of worth? Only the most relevant. The data retrieved from June Seros has proven invaluable. Captain Horn has prepared an SOS signal using the Republic's ciphers. When you leave the spaceport, you will be pursued by our ships. The Republic will allow you to board, or they risk allowing one of their own to die. We will give them no time for doubt. And here I thought you'd make this too easy for me. Do not hesitate to dispatch your pursuers if they become troublesome. You will reach the Founder by any means necessary. Once on board, your first priority will be to destroy all crafts in the adjacent hangars to prevent the Supreme Chancellor from escaping. Improvised demolition is one of my specialties. With no means of escape, only the Supreme Guard will stand between you and your prey. I'm ready to depart for the Founder at any time. I will await you on the Tyrant. The Supreme Chancellor's fate is sealed. Okay. Okay, travel to Corellia's orbital station once again. The duties of the Supreme Chancellor are far from limited to the capital of the Galactic Republic, and the importance of the office demands that the Chancellor be able to travel at a moment's notice. As such, a vessel is continually maintained for the exclusive use of the Supreme Chancellor. Today that ship is the Founder. Unlike many of its predecessors, it was built for an era of war and uncertainty, and bears the hallmarks of a top-class fighting vessel despite its diplomatic duties. Its architects were determined that the Founder not only meet the same fate, sorry, not meet the same fate as the previous Supreme, Supreme, blah, Supreme Chancellor's vessel. A beautiful, luxurious and powerful cruiser 
obliterated during the sacking of Coruscant. take with us to fight through this Dreadnought's security complement. Hmm. Tell you what, Mako, you were here at the beginning, you may as well be here at the end. You may as well let this uh, come full circle. Droid, don't mind me. Oh. So this is the fire wing. Oh, smugglers. So this is we're on the orbital station, but we're taking this ship. I see. Makes sense rather than taking the mantis, which is probably recognizable by now. here. Make sure there's no escape. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> the combat rolled. Okay, explosive being planted. Some reinforcements suddenly appear. Hmm. Not just a pretty sidekick, 
Buster. to uh, find a Supreme Chancellor. Should be able to detonate the explosive shortly. Getting ourselves away from the hangar deck before we do so. Might be some escape pods still. Yep, yep, there you go. The next objective sabotage the escape pods. Sure, what we achieved there, but I'm sure it was something important. Ah, and now just to locate the Supreme Chancellor. Buster. Right behind you. So many people willing to lay down their lives for me should never have come to this. There's something I want to tell you before you do what you came to do. You better have one hell of an apology lined up. You deserve more of an apology than I'm capable of giving. 
I reviewed the reports surrounding the operation to apprehend you. It's atrocious. A monumental abuse of power. I don't condone what you were doing, but I understand it. It was just your job. June made it personal. You expect me to believe you had nothing to do with this? I watched you condemn me, live on the Holonet. I authorized the operation to bring you to justice. But what June did was beyond his authority. I've already declassified the real details of yours and June's actions to the public. The fallout will be tremendous. No matter how our meeting concludes, I'll be removed from office. Hoping to get fired before I can claim my bounty? This isn't about me. It's about the truth. A Republic cannot be based on deception, especially on matters of war. The false accusations will disappear as the truth is separated from the lies. It's not a clean slate, but it's what you deserve. I'm willing to take things a step further, if you're willing to work with me. One good turn deserves another. What are you offering? Immunity. If you're willing to show me you're not firmly in the Empire's pocket. June believed you were in league with a Sith named Tormund. Is that true? Tormund sent me to collect your head. I feared as much. He's using us to make his mark. Tormund's a monster. His troops have been butchering Corellians. On Raban, he flattened kilometers of homes, businesses, hospitals. A man like that can't be given more power. Let's fix this, while we're in a position to do so. Well, we haven't had much choice about working with Tormund until now. This could be our out. That is true. We've been forced into this position. Everyone staring at him going, the visors. Not really a finger, is he? You can just see, like, the cogs turning in his head very slowly. She has a point. Torment's had us under his thumb far too long. Keep your word and Torment will disappear. At least we can agree on that. I understand the risk you're taking. Thank you. The Supreme Chancellor's been dealt with. Good. Make for the Tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. We'll engage the Imperial Fleet, but I'll have to survive this to hold up my end of the bargain. If you can somehow cripple the Tyrant after dealing with Tormund, we can handle the rest. The Tyrant won't trouble you. Chancellor. Nope. Oh, stuck on the chair. I don't normally go back on a contract. I have tried really hard not to go back on a contract. Unless it's been... Hmm. A contract which has had minor consequences. Little meaning. Let's take that bomb off this escape pod, shall we? And to be fair, I'm rather proud of what I've achieved as a bounty hunter. Yes, the results have sometimes been rather grisly. But, that was the terms of the contract. We were just a man, a professional, doing his job. And doing it well. Unfortunately, things got a bit convoluted. Oh, the ship's certainly seen better days again. 
turning on Tormund is going to have some consequences you know, within the Empire, I'm sure. But, I've always said I was amenable to making contracts with the Republic as well. They just had to offer me some good credits. If they came at me with jobs, I'm a professional. I'm not... Imperial aligned. It just so happens they pay the best. vengeance and satisfaction. The Supreme Chancellor's death has excited your passions. Relish it. Experience some small measure of what it is to be Sith. Now, deliver what I have asked of you. I'm afraid you'll have to accept a substitution. I expected better. Well, we kill a Jedi Master, why not a Sith Lord as well? Mako, get the hell up, please. Thank you. Deserved. Some deals just fall through. Trusting in a tool, however useful, was a mistake. The task of delivering the master stroke I should have reserved for myself. The galaxy would know. None are beyond my reach. All would cower or they would burn. And the Dark Council would see how total victory is achieved. At least they won't have to see how far you missed the mark. Alright, time to go. Oh, good. No Imperial saw our battle. Right. Oh, shit. Mako. Who did you leave piloting the Mantis, exactly? I was hoping to find you alive. Quite a narrow escape. Darth Tormund was not as fortunate, I trust. I took care of him personally. Good. At least it's done. Perhaps it's best that I'm getting out of politics. Ranging assassinations couldn't be farther from what I've stood for. After falling this far, I suppose there's no point in trying to recover my principles. Coming clean would only do more harm than good. Speaking of coming clean, how's my record looking? You'll be exonerated as I promised. Even if my replacement questions the justification, overturning it would be more trouble than it's worth. I'm also sending a small reimbursement for your lost wages. It isn't much. There are more important things than pride and wealth. I hope you'll continue to use such good judgment in the future. I killed Tormund because you made the better offer. 
Bounty hunting is a job. I get paid. You get results. Pass that advice on to your replacement. And so ends the third story arc of the Bounty Hunter. Oh, bloody hell. We got here in the end. Ah, Darwin Sewell from the desk of the Prime Minister. Thanking us for making the right choice. Include the small gift of credits. Let no one say that the Prime Minister doesn't support his constituents. Yeah, Jyla Wyatt lasts. I'm sure the Republic won't be back in reclaiming Corellia. <laughs> I'm sure the situation ends in a Republic victory. Ah, for now. Either way, bloody hell. There's a lot to unpack there. But, ah, oh, breaking that contract. It hurt, but it was... An enforced contract and I had said even on our way to Belsavis I wasn't best pleased of the situation being forced into that position to be fair it was Jude Ceres who forced us into it by going to the Supreme Chancellor and forging all of those false allegations those deeds that we had been blamed for but then Dorf Torment took advantage of that, and... Hmm. Don't know how to feel about it, really, but it's done. One way or the other, it's done now. And so our time here with Visor has come to an end, in terms of the main storyline, at least. Both Visor and Ava have actually come to the same point now. Um... I actually have quite a bit of time off just starting now, just to break into reality a little. And so, in my last break, which was like a week and a half ago, I spent a lot of time with my Jedi Knight and got her to the end of her main storyline, ready to go into the bonus series or the bonus quest line prior to the first expansion, Rise of the Hood Cartel. And now, of course, Visor is here also, despite me starting his uh, series like a month earlier. And so now, with this free time, I will probably... Yeah, what I'll end up probably doing is, just let you know, is play both characters at the same time, in a sense. We are, be, we are heading to the world of Ilum for one purpose or another for players of the Empire and players of the Republic. But I'll be able to, even though it's like doubling the time I'll be on a particular world, and for some of the future expansions it's almost doing the same thing again. <laughs> but we'll be able to see two different perspectives, I suppose. As I imagine, there will be some dialogue options unique to the Bounty Hunter and unique to the Jedi Knight. And their personalities aren't really the same. Eh, definitely not. Obviously, one has more of a perspective on the Force as well. Whereas Visor here doesn't really care as long as the job pays well. Hopefully that stays true. Either way, we'll see what opportunities present themselves going into the future. But yes, I'll be taking Visor now into the bonus quest line prior to getting set up for Rise of the Hood Cartel. And once I've completed the time on Ilum for Visor, I'll switch back over to Ava and do likewise for her. And that's probably the way I'll go do things going forward. Hopefully. It should work out. And um, we'll see what the future holds for both characters. But hopefully you're enjoying both series. I've been very, very appreciative. Um, or I am very appreciative 
of the various uh, comments I am getting, the feedback I'm getting. And hopefully I'll see you for even more of such as we uh, continue these series going further forward. But for now, I need to do a hell of a lot of editing. I am doing a lot of uploading in the background. In fact, for those of you who may care slightly, <laughs> I'm uploading this. I'm uploading 40. Well, sorry, I've uploaded 42 of 43 parts so far. I think I've had my PC going for about a week now. <laughs> it's just madness trying to get everything uploaded. It's quite insane. But um, once I've done all the editing, it should be there should be plenty to view, <laughs> if nothing else. Thank you for joining me, though, sincerely. Please feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more going into the future. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.